Hey guys, so you see, I put in the extension, and as you can see, it makes a real, uh, real big difference, really. I thought it wasn't, but uh, you'll see there's a lot of room to work with here. Uh, I just wish they had more of a measurement system on it, but also I wanted to uh, put something aside here. The bottom here, I've, uh, you know, a lot of people said, oh, it didn't work. Some people, you know, that I saw, it didn't go in. I don't know what you guys did, but it goes in. It must have been a factory defect because mine goes right in. In fact, it was so stiff, I had to do it by force to twist it and twist it and twist it till I got it working. So look, I mean... This is amazing. Now I'm going to show you the camera. Now, like I said, I did it without, I balanced the BMCC, the Blackmagic Cinema camera, Blackmagic Design, and Blackmagic Cinema, uh, I mean, Blackmagic Production Camera 4K on this with no problems at all. Uh, but the thing is, remember, like I was showing you in the video, the uh, camera actually came this close to the motor, but like a little bit of... Uh, of room which means it wouldn't touch it anyway you know so you could do it without it it's just i'm a stickler and kind of have a you know just for safety reasons even though there is no reason at all i just got this anyway to just see if it uh how it would benefit me but also you can work with larger cameras when you have this thing okay so that's the that's the beauty of these extensions now with the uh this is for the ronin m obviously uh, like I said, the Ronin M. So you could save a thousand dollars, really. You don't need the ro the regular Ronin, and you can invest in things like this. This is like fifty bucks, which I could do myself, to be honest with you, if I had the machine. But I don't. So you know, to buy this for fifty dollars and it's good. Also, one other thing I should mention, I showed you in the other video of the unboxing. Uh, more like the unwrapping uh, you could actually combine these two together and even make it longer But there's no need for that because this thing has a seven pound uh, weight limit But in reality like a ten pound weight limit, but you want to keep it on the seven eight pounds uh, Ratio so what I do is I you know I have the black magic production camera 4k and I put that giant lens on it the the um, 11 to 16 uh, which I showed you in my other videos, I purposely chose a beefy lens to show you, and it comes out exactly to about seven pounds. Now, you could only have seven pounds here, obviously, but here you could put more. Um, I do recommend getting one of those harness vests because they do uh, add on to weight. Uh, this thing doesn't add on much, obviously, to the weight, but you'll be able to balance it just much better. Uh, I'm guessing with bigger cameras, I'm sure it will, but I wouldn't use bigger cameras unless you're using like pancake lenses or whatever, but that, uh, you know, on the C100 or C300, I, uh, I can show you how to balance those and perhaps a video in the future, but you know, now I'll be able to use, uh, bigger cameras, but on my Blackmagic production camera, I didn't really need this, but now I'll have more room to work with and, uh, I won't need to bring it as much to here, you know, so it's going to be good. So anyways, uh, give me one second. I'm going to show you uh, that right on it. Well, guys, you see, I brought it down. Just remember not to bring it too down because you don't want to stretch out this wire. But as you can see, it let me move even more back. So this is a good, you see, it doesn't even affect my camera at all anymore. So this is pretty darn good. And if you look at it from here, perfectly balanced. Is it worth it? I'm going to tell you for 50 bucks, I wouldn't spend money because I, I showed you I balanced it even without it. So there's no uh, no point to it. But now you could actually go behind it and you have room. And if you have a C300 or a C100, I would say a C100 more uh, just so it doesn't weigh over the seven pound limit. You know, <clears throat> you know, you got a. Uh, you should get it. But if it's like for the black magic camera, I mean, you don't really need it. I mean, it just gives you more room to work with. That's about it. But you see, like on this side, I'm still kind of uh, pushing it. But I could have put the plate and had it bring it even closer and then have exactly the same on both sides. So it is good because you have more room to work with. And I really like it. As you can see, perfectly balanced. There's no problem with it whatsoever even though i put this the wrong way but <laughs> but uh i'm saying it's perfectly balanced there's no you know issue with it so is it worth it i don't think so but if you want to be a stickler or you're a little bit worried that you have it too close to the motors or whatever i would get it but if you're working obviously with a bigger camera then i totally get it anyways let me know what you guys think like subscribe dislike have a good one take care guys